Hello again everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron and today we're going to be checking out a composer walkthrough of a track that I did using our newest library cube. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the track. Now, hence the name Cube, I thought I would try and do a track that sort of gives you the anxiety of being inside of a cubicle. You know, let's say you're sitting down and you're waiting to get out and you just, you know, you see the normal day-to-day -day things of everyone's usual routines just kind of building and building. So that's what I was trying to sort of do with this track. And with this track, I tried to use as much of different aspects of Cube as possible. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go through each track and we'll solo them and then kind of hear how it, sound in, how it sounds individually and then we'll go from there. So in here, I actually have acoustic kits, all effects, ambiences. We'll actually have four different tracks for ambiences. Uh, an effects track for insects, an effects track for time warp, robots one and robots two. So if you look at the very bottom track, you'll see that there's some automation going on. And what I wanted to do was get a little bit of filtering going on, but without having to use any other plugins, I wanted to try and do everything within Cube. So what I did is I attached some automation to my host to the automation within Cube and then did it manually. So with this track, what I wanted to do was introduce a new sound every measure and try to build a rhythm and make something musical out of it, even though these are office recording sounds and different types of things like water coolers and pencil scribbling. You can make music out of it if you want to, or if you want to use it in a more sound design style, you can do that as well. But I wanted to try and see if I can make something musical using this library. So. As you can see, each time it's adding something new, and uh, I'll go ahead and just show you how I slowly started adding it. So at the very top track, you have this. Now the next thing I added was one of our Cube Effects patches, which is called Insects. So I'm basically just building, trying to create sort of a drum loop. And then the next thing I added was this other effects patch, which is called Time Warp. So the next thing I added another effects patch, which is called Robot One. So let's hear how that sounds adding onto the beat. Now on the Robots 2 effects patch, I actually added an arpeggiator on there to start getting some little bit more of a musical sound to it. Uh, let's go ahead and hear how that sounds just by itself. And then let's hear how that sounds in the context of everything. So after getting some more musical sounding things going, uh, I wanted to add some ambiences to fill up the sound a little bit more. So let's go ahead and check out the track that starts to utilize some more of the ambient patches. They're very subtle, but they add to the vibe and that's what I like about them. And they have a very natural sort of 
rhythmic -y swell to it, which I think is cool. Um, so as the track develops more and more, there's a lot more going on. So one of the things I want to check out is the filtering that I did using some automation. So pretty much all this is doing is just keeping a rhythmic pulse going and uh, you know with this kind of stuff what I like to do is have a lot of layers of different things going on and di different rhythmic things happening at the same time which really adds to the complexity and just makes it sound sonically interesting at least to me anyway. Um, the next thing I did is I started really going crazy with the ambiences doing lots of different stuff each ambience sort of adds its own flavor so Let's just go ahead and I'm going to solo out just the ambiences for this last portion or the last half of the track. So that is the track that I wrote using our newest library cube, which is a continuation of our popular Juno VHS series done by our own Spencer Nunemaker. So to check it out, make sure to go to soundiron.com for more info and demos. And thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.